Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. One, go. What's up, Jags? Welcome to another edition of Jag TV. I'm Ms. Ledrick. And I'm Yon. If you have any questions or information you would like aired, please email nwjagtv at gmail.com and make sure to follow us on Instagram at nwjagtv. Now it's time to get into our announcements. The great team would like to announce that next Shrek Plastic Film is back. Check out the Northwoods website and find out what can and can't be recycled in these bins. Zeta Phi Beta Sorority, Ada Pi Zeta Chapter, invites you to join them for the Right Start Scholarship Workshop. Learn how to make your essay stand out when applying for scholarships. This workshop will also provide you with access to $100,000 in scholarships. Keep in mind, this is a hands-on workshop. Laptops or other mobile devices are recommended, but not required. This is a free event, but registration is required. Make sure to check out the Northwest newsletter for the link. Space is limited! The Maryland Community College Promise Scholarship is available for the 2023-2024 academic year to students who enroll at Maryland Community College. Eligible students may receive up to $5,000 to cover any remaining tuition and mandatory fee expenses after federal or state financial aid has been applied. Students must file the FAFSA or MSFAA by March 1st. The Montgomery County Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority have three scholarships to offer to our amazing seniors. The scholarship programs are available with varying criteria. Minimum GPA 2.0. Awards available for two and four year college bound students and career slash vocational technical schools. Deadline for application, March 17th. Northwest PTSA and Booster Club is offering seniors $500 award scholarships. The requirements are to have received a letter of acceptance and plan to attend a two or four year college or university or other post-secondary program or training. To have completed a minimum of 100 SSL hours for the PTSA scholarship or a minimum of 75 SSL hours for the Booster Club scholarship. To apply, submit a 300 to 500 word essay based on the prompts provided. Any questions should be directed to Ms. Summers, the PTSA and Booster Club president. Deadline for application is April 25th. MSPS Diversity Night is fast approaching. Mark your calendar for January 20th from 7 to 9 p.m. This will be a night filled with fun. Watch his performances, games, special presentations, and so much more come to life. We'll be right back. and I'm part of the social studies department. I'm here to talk to you about psychology classes. We have AP classes and we have intro class. Um, they're both a year long class. And you know what? I'm hearing myself talk. You don't want to hear me. I don't want to hear me. So why don't I just show you some of the video clips of some of the activities, demonstrations, and labs that we do in class. Let me ask a simple question. Can you walk a straight line? What if you see the world differently? What if you put on goggles that make the world upside down? Could you walk a straight line? In psychology classes, we encourage you to think differently and creatively to win a paper tower competition. 
Sometimes we'll test your memory with an old school 1980s video game named Simon. And maybe we'll even examine conformity and obedience with Simon Says in class. Simon Says, hop on one foot. <laughs> if you don't like obeying and following rules, maybe you can be a rebel. Maybe you can write on the desk and play with Play-Doh as you learn about neurons. We can ask our dog friends to show us that positive reinforcements, such as rewards and treats, work much better than punishments. And maybe you can tell your parents that, too. And you might even sneak a few treats as we teach statistics with M&Ms and Skittles. However, if you sneak too many treats from the group, we will teach you about changing behaviors with punishments, such as a little squirt in the face. <laughs> go, go. Like, <laughs> Speaking of groups, maybe they can help you learn about vocabulary words or at least how to write really fast. Psychology studies the brain and brain parts, so your group might get to draw on a friend's head with permanent Sharpies, and your friend might even like it. Now for the awkward part. We could even do a speed dating activity to help you learn about brain parts and what they do. Speaking of brain parts, we might even get to dissect a real sheep brain. <laughs> now, um, the big thing everyone wants to know about hypnosis, and like I said before, hypnosis is real. And if you want to, you can experience it too in psychology class. You should relax in five and four deeper and deeper. Three and two and one. And you're so relaxed now. You're feeling so incredible and so heavy. We're Let me end with this. Psychology counts as a social studies credit. It's a one year long class. AP psychology requires you to do quite a bit of work to get ready for the AP exam. But college credit in high school can be worth the work. Now, if your schedule is too full or you don't have the time to commit to AP level work, then you can take intro psych. That class covers most of the same things, maybe not as in-depth, but it doesn't have as much of the work. Listen, I really hope you're going to choose one of our uh, psychology classes uh, next year. I hope to see you in class. Let's go, Jags. Let's go, Jags. Let's go, Jags. Let's go, Jags. Let's go, Jags.